as many people wanted to see in English what I did before in Hebrew about about anti-Semitism, why anti-Semitism, what is the reason for it, how we can resolve it. So I did it now, but in the English world, so I hope it will be clear. And as I said, the message is very, very important one. This is based on what our rabbi said many, many years ago. So the first thing we wrote is what our rabbi tell us in Sabbath 89 AB. So this is what is written there. As you see the verse now, Rav Hizda and Rabba, son of Ravuna, both said, what is the reason it is called Mount Sinai? It is because it is a mountain upon which hatred, Sina, in Hebrew, hatred is Sina, very close, for the nation of the world descended because they did not accept the Torah. This is exactly the reason, this is what Rabba tells us. Jealousy, hatred, and in fact, our Rabba is more this. It's say uh, because Jews got it, and what is written in September Romanic is the opening that God said, You are going to be now kingdom of priests. And chosen nation. And definitely the purpose of you is to teach the world about God, faith, in fact, the acceptance of the Torah is accepted all over, but still Jews have to teach much more about the commandments, about the Torah faith in God, morals, and all those things, if you don't do it. This was the rabbi said in the Medrash in the Omaletic, then the nations hit them, telling that why you don't do what you're supposed to do. Your goal is to teach us to be light to nations. It's really what the Bible said, the prophets, uh, and you don't do it, so you deserve hitting, smacks. This is interesting what the Medrash says, and this is really but believe the reason that now Jews, unfortunately, you can see it, don't keep it Sabbath, don't really, I'm not the example. In fact, right, God gave them very, very, very good mind and brain and talent. You see, Nobel Prize, people, high tech and so on, but this is God gave to show the greatness of the Torah, the wisdom of the Torah. Not only Torah code Bible, because it's important, but the, more important thing, basic, about keeping the Torah, the commandments, which also dental, there to be seven of them, and they don't keep, unfortunately. So this is what our Rebbe said, and this by Sinai, called Sinai, because of Hagar, the same thing, because the question is, it should be called the mountain of the Torah, and so on, but what is Sinai, what is to do, what is the place, Sinai, very nice, but the more important thing happened on this mountain, getting the Torah. So let us see now, the table with the English verse, as we say now. Next meeting of the Torah, as you can see yourself, very, very important thing, you can see it clearly, is what is written here, very, very clear. And this is what are the verses before we saw. The verse are, again, in black, Lama, anti shemiot I mean, you see, Lama, anti Shame you to use by one sense because there are a lot of letters. So, Lama, why anti shame you to the question of why anti Semitism? Anti Semitism. Why anti Semitism? To Israel, definitely Israel, right? They are behind all the things. So, I was want, I want to see what is the location that this best meeting coming. Amazing, exactly what everybody said more than 2,000 years ago. The story of the Sinai, when Jesus gave the Torah to Jews on Sinai. And this is what is written in English. The sound of the trumpet and the shofar grew loud and louder. And then it's written afterwards that by Yered Hashem al Sinai, that God descended on Mount Sinai. Exactly this is. What happened in this Sinai mentioned here on this, the rabbi said, why Sinai is called Sinai? The David had that. Then another verse, which is also the same thing. Moses spoke, but, yeah, of the God and answered him, the Lord descended to the top of Mount Sinai, right? And in fact, more is written, we do not say it, but it's written by Hashem Akshaba Boker. Moses got up in the early morning, by El Al Sinai. He went up on the mountain Sinai, you know, like God commanded him. And then, definitely, you know, the story, 
the tables and so on. And also comes here very important commandments, one of the most important for Jews. Sheshet Yamim, Yasem Melacha, six days work, table should be done, but by Yom Hashvi on the seventh day, Shabbat Shabbaton, it's Sabbath. Kodesh Lashem, holy for them, you should not do Kerion, Kol Melacha, let's say, you should not do work, right? A lot of prohibition to do on Shabbat, but unfortunately, when the dedication of Shabbat, so we see what is going on, yeah? So keeping the Torah, which comes here also, is a basic solution to anti-Semitism, because anti-Semitism, as we said, is to bring Jews to understand, as the Torah says, I'm Levadad is a nation dwelling by themselves, right? That's not taking consideration what the non-Jews say, because this is what they are, this is a goal in life, but once they really, want to do what going, what and then to think about them, to assimilate, to find favor in his eyes, then they just said, no, 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 you're different, your service is different, all your custom is different, commandments, you keep what you keep and teach us, this is what you're supposed to do. And what we see now, it is amazing, it's really the continuation of this Medrash, which says, 